Welcome to Unapologetically Sensitive, where you can learn, relate, laugh, and maybe even live a bolder, brighter life. I'm your host, Patricia Young, licensed clinical social worker. This is a weekly podcast where we explore the strengths we have because of our sensitivity and some of the challenges it poses as well. The information in this podcast is not a substitute for help from a licensed mental health professional. Hey there, this is bonus episode 33, and I just want to jump on and do a follow-up to the podcast episode that I did, Do Therapists Need Therapists? You know, almost every time after I produce an episode, because I'm a deep thinker, I always think about, you know, the coulda, woulda, shoulda, what I would have wanted to say. So I thought I'd do a follow-up on that episode. First of all, I would really love to hear from you. So for the therapists that listen, what's your take on therapy? How would you describe what, what you do? And for those of you that are not therapists, if you've been to therapy, how would you describe therapy? For everybody, you know, what do you think is helpful in therapy? What do you think is not helpful? I'd really love to hear anything that you'd like to share. If What I may do is do a follow-up episode. So if you'd like me to mention your name, please be sure to put that in your notes. You can email me at unapologeticallysensitive at gmail.com. I'm thinking about doing a follow-up episode based on what you guys let me know. So if you'd like to have your name mentioned in this episode, please be sure to indicate on your email if you would like to remain anonymous or if you want me to say who you are. But what I would love is to really hear, you know, what are your thoughts about therapy? And for the therapist, if you want me to give a shout out to you, you know, please be sure to give me your name, where you practice, and I'm happy to provide that information. So some of the things that went on for me after I released this episode, what I should have said, although I'm pretty good about letting it go, but I do think about these things. I have to tell you that I felt pretty vulnerable releasing the episode primarily because a number of therapists listen to this podcast. Face it, humans are judgmental. I'm not saying the listeners are judgmental. I'm in quite a number of Facebook groups and Sometimes the people that we expect to be compassionate are not always, I'm, I'm not digging on anybody. I find it the most challenging to be, I, I worry about being judged by my peers more than anybody else. And if I'm going to do a podcast, I just have to let go of that. And I really, it's, it's been a really interesting process for me of having to stay very focused on what is my mission in doing this podcast? Who is it that I want to serve? And really trusting that the people that are my tribe, are the ones that are going to resonate with what I'm saying. And for the people that either have criticism or don't like it or have a different style, like that's okay. We all have our own way of doing things. Because I work primarily with highly sensitive people, I often don't think about all of the reasons that clients would seek therapy. I'm working on getting some guests lined up because I really want to do some episodes on white privilege, how people of color are impacted by those of us with white privilege and don't realize it. I want to have some people on that can talk about body image and healthy at every size. You know, every time I go to name certain groups, I know that there's a whole bunch of people that I just don't even include and it's not intentional and there's such power in being seen and heard. And I feel like I end up inadvertently committing microaggressions when I don't include a number of groups of people when I name things, which is why I hate naming things because my brain just gets pretty focused. So shoot me an email. Tell me about all the groups that I forgot. I'm happy to give you a shout out. I'm really working on trying to have more information about diversity on the podcast and to really talk about issues that are coming up and It's hard enough being a highly sensitive person and being 20% of the population. And then we've got all these other marginalized groups. So I really want to give time and attention to the groups that don't get enough attention. 
If you've been to therapy, if you're thinking about going to therapy, if you have questions about therapy, shoot me an email. And like I said, if I get enough content, I'm really happy to create a bonus episode on this or even a full episode if there's enough interest in information. I love hearing from you. So please communicate with me. Let me know if you want me to share who you are or if you want to remain anonymous. I totally respect that. Remember, sensitivity is nothing to apologize for. It's our superpower. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I really appreciate it. If you want to get any information about the show, the easiest thing to do is to go to unapologeticallysensitive.com. You can find the episode you're interested in and click on it and the show notes will be there. If you want to get in touch with me, my email address is there as well. We have a Facebook community by the same name, Unapologetically Sensitive. I would love to have you join. It's a place where I'm hoping that we can connect. I can get to know you and get a sense of what content you're looking for, how I can help you and be of service. Please remember, sensitivity is nothing to apologize for. It's our superpower. Have a blessed day.